All right. So, here we have the normal claw. We have the 60 by 30, 15, 45. And I am going to introduce today the combination of the two things that it's in between. So for example, the top and the bottom, halfway in between, the 15 would become the top-tum. So the top-tum. Pronounce the top-tum. Sort of with a U, not with an O. Alright. And now the next um, the next cru crucial, you know, key word you have to know is in between the bottom and the top, so the 45 becomes the bop. So now we have the totem and the bop. When you ask what's next, what about the 5, the 10, the 20, the 25, the 35, 40, 15, 50, well, we do a very similar method for finding those out. So in between the totem and the top, which would be right around here, the seven and a half, it would be called the toe totem, because it's in between the top and the top, so the toe totem. Now in between the totem and the bottom, so about the 22.5, it would become the um, toe, um, it would become the bow totem because uh, you use this as your base root and you just add on the bow. Um, similar, with, in between the bop and the bottom, it would become the bow bop. So it would be about the 37.5. In between the top and the bop, it would become the toe bop, right around the 52.5. So those numbers aren't very useful to us because in swimming we don't we usually go in five second intervals five ten not the seven and a half so we decide how do we figure out the five so here we have we could just say the toe totem um but that's not very useful to us so we want to get to the five how do we get to the five well we go a little bit up so we'd add another toe to it because uh, a toe would be about halfway in between the top and the toe totem which would be around here but we 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 round it to the nearest number so five because we really only have two numbers to go we can either go up or down to go up we go toe if we go down we go bow so here the five would become the toe toe totem How do we get to the 10? Well, it's a very similar method. We go down to the bow. So we go the bow toe totem. All right, so that's a very simple method. Now we have the similar corresponding numbers, the 20 would be known, well, first of all, the 22.5, we know would be the bow totem, so the 20 would be the toe bow totem. And the 25 would be the bow. Totem. 
is a really quite simple one. She, oh, wait. Um, oh, no, the, 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 the 25 would be the bow. Bow, Tom, my mistake. Bow, bow, Tom. Um, so really the main ones we use would be the bow toe totem, the totem of course, and the toe bow totem because um, it's not very often that we're leaving on the 25 or the or the 5. It's mainly either 10 second intervals or 15 second intervals, you know, but just for reference, the bow, bow totem and the toe toe totem. Now on this side, it's also very simple, but this side we're only going to reference the bop, so... Um, Starting with the 40, it would be the toe, bow, bop, and the 35 would be the bow, bow, bop, the 50 would be the, um, would be the bow, toe, And the 55 would be the toe, toe, bop. Now, um, it's really important to remember that it, we're really only adding the, um, the, the first, the first prefix added is the last thing that happens. So you always want to start at the end of the word. So. If someone says we're leaving at the toe bow bop, you say bop, all right, we're on this side, the bop, 45, bow, we're a little bit, we're a little bit south of the 45 per se, so we're down here, we're either at the 40 or the 35, and then toe, we're a little bit higher, so we're at the 40. If someone says the bow toe totem, you know, we're at the totem this side, we're not looking at this side, so we're at the totem. Now we, um, now we say the toe, the toe totem, so we're up here. Um, we're really up here, and we've just got the five and the ten. And now, which way do we go? We go bow. So we go to the ten. All right. Um, that's pretty much it. Oh, all right. We forgot the two most important ones: the new renamed, redefined um, top and bottom. The, since it's halfway in between the forty-five and fifteen, we'd say it's the bow, the the bop a totem, or the bop totem. So, bop, bottom. Um, depending on which lane you're in, you can form different dialects on that. Some people call it the bop a totem, or the bop a totemis, or the bop the totem. Uh, it's really just the bop totem, but you can say it however you like. Down here. Uh, or we're going to redefine the bottom, making it become the new, and I'll draw a little arrow. Making this, since it's halfway in between the bottom and the bottom, it's going to become the bottom bottom. It's really quite simple. You got a bop, the totem, the bop, the totem, the totem bop, the bop, and the uh, the bow toe bop, the um, the bow toe totem, the toe bow totem, and the toe bow bop. And that's basically it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I look forward to hearing all you guys out there using the new system of clock reading. Now this, this last segment is for uh, you advanced learners. Um, if you have moved on from the simple or not so simple totem, bop a totem, totem bop, bop system, you can even um, advance it one step further. Further, Let's say the knowing the five second interval is not enough. You want to know the individual seconds. Well, we've created a new system and um, it goes a little bit like this. So you have the 60, that would be obviously the bop totem. So that is right there, that's the bop totem. Now to go one second past that, we added A. Put a little A to that. Well, it's 
it's one second further. So the A at bottom is the one second mark. To go two seconds further, we had a B. So the two second mark is known as the B bop totem. Um, likewise, you have C and E. We don't use E because at E it would just be the five and that's obviously the toe, toe, totem. So we only use A, B, C, and D. This can be used with all of the numbers all the way up. Um, so for example, the 27 second mark would be the B bobo totem because B would be two seconds plus the bobo totem, which is the 25, making it the 27. Um, the, likewise, the 53 second mark would be the C bow toe bop, because C we had one, two, one, two three, uh, making it the 53, and then added it to the 50 bow toe bop. Um, yeah, and that was just uh, recently um, added. Um, I, I not necessarily use the only instance circumstance I can think of which you would use this method is, of course, say, if you had a interval. And let's say the interval was you were doing 10 100s on the 130. Well, then you would, you, you could say we are doing 10 100s on the A bop totem totem bop. So that would be the A bop totem, the one um, totem bop, which is a 30, so the 130. And hopefully some of your peers might know that. Many obviously will not, as this system is still quite new and the ABCD is even for more advanced um, users. Well, I hope you enjoyed this edition of the new system of clock reading. Um, as uh, for now, I am John. And uh, have a great day.